This instrument is a land bank bow. So we know that it is a discount instrument. Now, a discount instrument will have a nominal value that will be printed on the instrument or written on the computer if it's not a printed instrument. And that nominal value is also the maturity value. That will be the amount that you will receive on the date that this instrument expires, which in this case is the 31st of March 2011. Now, with a discount instrument, the consideration or the amount that you will pay for it will be less than the maturity value. So it will be the nominal value minus a discount that you have to calculate. That's why it is a discount instrument. Now, in section A, you are asked to calculate the consideration when this instrument trades in the secondary market on the 25th of February. The formula that we use to calculate consideration is consideration is equal to, I'm going to rewrite it, consideration is equal to the nominal value times 1 minus the discount rate times N. So we have to know what the nominal value is, we have to know the discount rate, and we have to know what N is. Now the nominal value is given to you, that is 11 million. The discount rate, the, the, the rate that you must use there is the rate at which it trades in the secondary market, not the rate at which it trades in the primary market. So in this case, the discount rate is equal to 8,25% or 0,0825. How do we get that 0,0825? 8,25% is actually the same as 8,25 divided by 100, and that gives you 0,0825. In is the fraction of the year that is left until maturity. Now, on the 25th of February, there are 34 days left until maturity. So it's going to be 34 divided by the number of days in a year, 365. So if we now replace this into the formula, the nominal value is 11 million. times 1 minus the discount rate 0, 0,0825 times n which is 34 divided by 365. Now you're going to have to use a calculator to do this calculation. You first have to do the section in brackets. So it's 11 million times 1, you have to calculate 0, 0,0825 times 34 divided by 365, and that is going to be, if you calculate it using your calculator, 0, 0,007685. So, it's 11 million times... 1 minus 0, 0,007685 gives you 0, 0,992315. And if you multiply that by 11 million, your answer is going to be 10,915,465 rand and 75 cents. And if you then round it off to the closest full rand, that is going to give you 10,915,466 rand. Therefore, the amount that the buyer pays on the 25th of February 
is 10,915,000 rand, 466 rand.